Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it right. Is your money working for you? Or are you working for money? It's the life, it's the life I need. Welcome to the crypto lifestyle, the lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for that money. And guys, before I go on with the content, I really would appreciate it if you could smash that like button. By you doing that, it helps me go a long way, but also it helps other people looking for similar content on hash graphs and blockchain technology. It makes it easier for them to come across my videos as well. So that's that, guys. Let's get right to it. Now, hash graph. What is hash graph? Is it this blockchain killer, this block blockchain disruptor? I don't know about all that, but it is very, very fascinating in my opinion. Now guys, if you've been following my channel, you guys know I am a blockchain infrastructure connoisseur. Like, I live for that stuff. You know, for me personally, blockchain infrastructure, what's so good about it? Like, at least the new blockchains that are coming out, like Credits, Zillica, Quarkchain, Yggdrash, um, we'll get to Hashgraph in a second. But the reason why we like these types of blockchains is because they're high-performance blockchains that are doing things that the current networks cannot do, such as scalability, such as speed, and such as um, 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 low fees, obviously, low fees, right? But the most important thing with these blockchain networks, we're looking for fast effective and efficient okay that's what it's about over here the fastest blockchain would prevail so if you look at credits it says cryptocurrency and blockchain for the financial industry with more than 1 million uh, transactions per second okay and 0 0.01 um, seconds for a transaction credits is a new unique blockchain platform with absolutely new technical capabilities okay guys i'm all about that i'm all about these fast paced fast you know uh, transactions per second blockchains right now we look at zillica another high performance blockchain zillica is a new blockchain platform that is designed to scale in an open permissionless distributed network securely the core feature that makes zillica scalable is sharding dividing the networks into several small uh, component networks called shards whatever whatever so sharding at that time it, it, it still is right now I think ethereum wants to implement sharding because it's for scalable it's more scalable right it's going to help um, you know process transactions much much far faster than the current system in place like proof of work and proof of stake and delegated proof of stake which we will get into um, very soon we look at quark chain right quark chain is a high thought out that's a typo. High thought out blockchain that aims to achieve millions of transactions per second. Very similar to what Credits is claiming, okay? So we're seeing this common theme in speed. Speed is like the balls, you know? Like in cars, cars that got balls is like Mustangs and all these like Lambos and all that kind of stuff, right? Because it's fast, it's speed, right? It's all about speed. Blockchain processing transactions is no different. We got Yggdrash. It's a trust-based multi-dimensional blockchain built with a vision, yada, yada, yada. They're talking about blockchain 3.0, building like alternate parallel branches, right? It, it, this is crazy too, right? It's all about speed. But guys, when we're talking about Hashgraph, this is an entire different animal and yes I know hetero uh, hashgraph is a ICO but I'm just using them as a reference point so let's get right to it guys I left some notes here what is hashgraph okay this is this is my way of doing it this is my notepad guys it is what it is so what is hashgraph guys hashgraph is essentially a consensus model so the more popular consensus models out there are uh, POW which is proof of work proof of stake uh, delegated proof of stake and now we have hashgraph now, if you're living in, say, like, the pilgrim ages of cryptocurrency, proof of work was the first of its kind in terms of a consensus model. So, the problem with proof of work or mining, it just takes up so much darn electricity, okay? Like, anybody that I speak to and they want to get into proof of work or, like, mining rigs, I'm like, I'm, I don't know, man, that's just slow money. I don't know about that. Not only is slow money, it's becoming obsolete and very ancient. Then we got proof of stake. So the thing about proof of stake, what the actual experts are complaining about is its actual security issues that it has. So with proof of stake, you don't have any math proofs in place, okay? So, I mean, it, it, it's not really safe it, and it's very prone to like these attacks, those DOS attacks and whatnot. So for, for proof of stake, we currently have all sorts of questions about it in terms of security. Now, delegated proof of stake is probably a more refined 
um, consensus system to proof of stake. So delegated proof of stake is pretty much where you have these trusted nodes and delegates and you also have witnesses that would process transactions. So there is a voting system in place, but the problem with delegated proof of stake guys right here, and that's Don Larmer, I have all the respect for him. He is a genius. The man is like 10,000 light years ahead of uh, everybody else pretty much. Um, but the problem with that is guys, I used it myself. Um, I, bl I believe it was Crypto Bridge. They used the BitShare smart contract and it does take long. It does take longer than normal. Okay, so that's the issue over there. It's all about speed, as I mentioned. Okay, so now we talk about hash graph. Um, so gossip protocol starts like this. Once a transaction is created, it is sent out to a random computer. Now this random computer spreads information across the network to other random computers where everyone communicates at the same time. So once a transaction is created, guys, it is sent out to a random computer. That computer now sends it out to two other computers. Oh, sorry, to another computer. Now there are two computers that has this information. Now those two computers sends it out to another two computers. Now it's four computers. You get it? And the, 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 the domino effect goes on and on until every computer within the network knows about this information. This is essentially the fastest way to get information out there. Now, you guys want to look at, say, something like, um, you know, Facebook, right? You upload a picture, it gets like 10 likes in a minute, and then 10 likes again later on, and it just exponentially grows. I believe somebody was saying, um, what was it? Facebook, the overall like, analysis for this is every minute there is 500,000 likes on Facebook. Now, imagine if that natural organic energy was converted into a consensus model. Okay, guys, it would be effortless. It would be very efficient. It would be very fast, the fastest. Like gossiping is the fastest way to get information out there. And gossiping is actual computer science terminology, by the way. Okay, guys, it's like when you, okay, you look at your Facebook pictures, you see this person got married, this person went away to Greece, and then some people might be like, oh my God, did you see the pictures of Jane? She was in Greece and it looks so beautiful. The water is amazing. Oh my God, I want to go there. And like the word gets out where this person is, right? I mean, I could take a trip to Thailand, put a picture up on Facebook, and it reaches out to how many people so fast. That's the power of Hashgraph in a sense. Now, if we want to talk about the actual security aspect of Hashgraph, it's actually pretty cool too. So every time a transaction is created, it is verified by a computer. That computer now sends the information off to other computers, but he leaves that, that, that neighboring computer or that uh, other node within the network leaves a hash or a digital signature. So a hash is like your identity. Now that hash is sent off to the other computers, right? So now each message or each time the computer or the node sends off another transaction to another computer, there are two hashes on there. Once every computer within the network receives this information, at the end of it all, it develops this graph, hence hash graph. And this graph pretty much tells you from the beginning to the end, every information on pretty much what people have learned, what is the information, who said what, where did it come from, and where did it end. So in a sense, it's like a blockchain explorer, but a little bit more advanced. And that's virtual voting, guys. And this is far more faster than any consensus model we have in place right now in cryptocurrency. And it's far more, it's, it's not just faster, it's more efficient and and much more decentralized and natural. It's organic energy that's being contributed within the consensus model it's pretty damn cool very simple but yet genius okay so this it, it, it not only tells you what um the information is it tells you who it came from okay with the hash id and also tells you the time okay guys and something i really have to mention on why hashgraph will be more decentralized and proof of uh, work is because mining as decentralized as cryptocurrency is the miners are the centralized figures they are the ones who get um, paid to process transactions, right? And they cater this by uh, fees. So they would cater you. If I want to make a transaction in Bitcoin and I am paying a higher fee than you, the miners will cater me over you because they're getting paid more money. But with Hashgraph, it's not by fees. It's actually by time. 
okay? So first come, first serve. Let's say like that. If I made a trans, if I um, wanted to send out a transaction right now, okay, and then you did yours five seconds later, the system would cater from my transaction first over yours. It's an even playing ground in that regard, if that makes sense. And guys, when we have everyone within the network or all the nodes, all the computers, whatever you want to call it, communicating at the same time, things could be done much faster. Because remember, when you're using proof of work, um, that consensus model is pretty much a one by one, step by step procedure. So one miner gets the information, sends it off to the other miner, to the other miner, to the other miner. It's a step by step process. So obviously things are gonna take a lot longer to finish, right? Or to process. Now with the gossip protocol, it's simultaneously going on. Okay guys, this is like renewable energy, so to speak, organic energy. So the community and the nodes within the network are synchronizing information um, at the same time. Okay guys, that's what makes this so much more powerful and so much more exponentially faster than proof of work or proof of stake or delegated proof of stake. So there you have it guys, that's my two cents on Hashgraph. Now is it a blockchain, like a blockchain killer and all this stuff? I don't know about all that man. But they do say that their technology, this consensus system, could process over 250,000 transactions per second. Which is pretty darn fast, pretty darn crazy. And um, yeah, I mean I'm looking forward to it guys. I am looking for ICOs that are implementing Hashgraph uh, consensus model. Okay, that's me, and I'm on the prowl for that. And we have found one, and I gotta give credit to this gentleman in my Telegram chat who has brought that to my attention, guys. Hey guys, I really do apologize for the majority of the screen being this. I probably should have shown my face while doing a presentation where it's something, you know, when I'm doing videos where it's new information or we're learning something, I like to at least show myself. But um, sorry about that, guys. It is what it is. It's your boy, The Crypto Lifestyle, coming back at you once again, giving you the latest of the latest in terms of hash graph technology or distributed ledger technology. So until the next video, guys, you're on your own. Later.